Shalom Yasharala. Peace Israel. First and foremost, I want to send all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Bakakadash Barakata. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elected visual. Excuse me, this is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. Okay. And today I want to talk about the prayer of Solomon. The prayer of Solomon. Uh, king Solomon was a uh, great king. Uh, he had many riches and he was uh, the best king uh, to be able to be written in the, in the scriptures. Okay. Um, the Most High blessed him with wisdom, riches, and he had um, mainly, uh, if not all, the, if not all, the desires of his heart. You know. But how did he how did he obtain all those riches? Okay? What was his secret? All right. Let's find out. Okay? Um I want to start at the book of, in the book of 1 Kings uh 3rd chapter starting at the 8th verse. Okay? 3rd chapter starting at the 8th verse. 8th verse. And thou servant is in the midst of thy people. Which, okay. Okay, let me start at verse 7. And now, O oh Lord, my power, thou hast made me servant king instead of my father, instead of David, my father. I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. So King David, I mean, King uh, uh, Solomon saying, you know, when he became king, he was asking the Most High. He told the Most High he, he didn't know what to do. He didn't know uh, how to rule. He didn't know the first thing about ruling ruling a nation, you know? All right. Let's go to verse 8. And thou servant is in the midst of thy people. Thou hast chosen a great number of people that cannot be numbered nor counted for, multiple, for multi, multitude. So King David was king over a great multitude of people. Okay, and he was asking the Lord thy power, Yahweh, on how to how to how to rule his how to, how to rule the people, because he didn't know he didn't know the first thing about ruling. Oh, so like, excuse me. Okay, so let's go down to verse nine. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thou so great people? So King Solomon knew he had a big responsibility. Alright? He had a big responsibility. You know, he had a he had a uh he was a leader for a number that 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 he said that couldn't be numbered, you know, for a great bunch of people. Alright? Now I wanna go to um this is the book of uh, first sec for well first kings uh second chapter and third verse okay and this is what king david told solomon and keep the charge of the lord thy power to walk in his ways to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments his testimonies that it is written in the law of moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and what whatsoever thou turnest thyself, yo man, uh, King David told King Solomon, you know, make sure the people are keeping the laws and statutes and commandments, okay. And um, you know, with that being implanted in uh, Solomon's mind, you know. If he had to, if King David told him to make sure the people follow the laws and statutes and commandments, that was a big responsibility because when you're king, you got to know how to judge, you got to know how to rule, you know, you got to learn how to work out differences and stuff like that. So, and at the same time, he had to make sure that uh, his people were honoring the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. You know, that's a big responsibility, you know. All right, and it, uh, uh, this is the book of First Kings, 
chapter 3, verse 9, okay? Give therefore thy servant an, under, an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may dis, discern, discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thou so great a people? Okay? So he asked for a discerning heart. Okay? He asked for, let me see, hold on, it's like you. Yeah. An, I'm sorry, it's like an understanding heart, okay, to judge that people so that he can discern between good and bad, okay? Now, when you have, when you, when you, when you are over something, you know, uh, say for example, you're a supervisor at your job and you got like 20 employees uh, working under you, okay? Now, you're going to have to know how to delegate those 10 people, okay, or, or however many people that are under you, okay, you're going to you're gonna have to dele uh, delegate things, you're going to have to uh, be a leader, be an example, you know, um, you're going to have to have some, some type of leadership skills, okay, and that's what King Solomon was lacking, Le uh, leadership, uh, he, well, I would say, well, wisdom, I be, which I believe it was there. It just had to be brought out of him, okay? But, you, okay, I put it like this. When you're in position to lead, you have to know how to utilize wisdom. Because some people have wisdom. They have it, but they don't know how to utilize it, okay? All right? And King Solomon asked the Most High to give him... Um, an understanding heart to judge that people, you know, and, you know, and that's how some supervisors are. You have to be understanding, you know, and you got to know how to judge and you have to know how to delegate. Okay. And that's what King Solomon uh, did in his kingdom. He, he knew how to delegate. Okay. He knew how to delegate. He knew how to utilize his wisdom. Okay. Um, Let's go to verse, uh, let's see here. Um, I should have went here first. Let's go to the book of uh, James. I should have went there first. I, I don't know why I didn't go there first, but I should have went there first. This is the book of uh, James, 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 1043. Okay. The book of James. First chapter. In the what? First chapter five. Is it first chapter five? Okay, yeah. First chap uh James first chapter uh fifth verse. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberty and um, braid if not and, and it shall be given given him okay so um, what did uh, King Solomon ask for he asked for wisdom and it says in James uh, first chapter in the fifth verse if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of Yahweh thy power that giveth to all men liberty and unbraideth um, not, and it shall be given unto him. Okay, so the wisdom was given unto uh, King Solomon. Okay, the wisdom was given unto King Solomon by Yahweh. And what did he, what did Yahweh, Yahweh Shai do? He prayed about it. You know, he prayed about it. He said, you know, he wanted. Oh, oh excuse me, Akim. Uh, he he wanted wisdom and he got it, you know. Now uh, I got another precept. Uh, Matthew. Okay, Matthew six and thirty-three. 
Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay? See, he sought first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. Okay? You know? And uh, going back to... Uh, let me see. Going back to First Kings, chapter two, verse three, and this is what David said again. I'm gonna read it again. And keep the charge of thy Lord, thy power, to walk in His ways, to keep His statutes and His commandments, okay, and His judgments. And what does it say in um, uh, uh, uh six and uh, thirty-three? But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. Righteousness, okay? All right. So Solomon was seeking um, righteousness, okay? To be righteous. He wanted to be wise, okay? Um. See seven, the book of Matthew seven. Let me see what the book of Matthew seven and seven. Okay, yeah. Ask, and it shall be given. Given you seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it will be. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. Yo, yeah, man, King Solomon was. Um, at, he asked the Most High forget for 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 um, he asked the Most High for um, wisdom. Okay. And it says in Ma Matthew seven chapter seven verse, asking it shall be given unto you. So uh, King Solomon asked for wisdom and he got it. You know, which you know, hey man, we, we gotta pray for wisdom, man. And you know, being on this side, we have to pray for wisdom. We have to pray for pray for faith. Uh, we have to pray for. Um, we just have to pray diligently, man. Because listen, the the, the you know we, we we need wisdom. We're gonna need uh, uh, wisdom and stability uh, during the time of Jacob's trouble. Because it says wisdom, uh, wisdom, wisdom and. I think I said it wrong, so like it. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Okay? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of time. So, if you are in this truth and you have wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, you know, this right here is going to be your stability during a time of Jacob's trouble. And also faith. Okay? Faith plays a big role. Okay? Faith plays a big role. And... Uh, King Solomon was faithful when he prayed to uh, Yahweh uh, to re to receive uh, all that wisdom. You know, you know that's awesome, man. Um, I think I got one more. Uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. But yeah, Akim, ask for wisdom, man. You know, we need wisdom. We need wisdom. Um, on our daily walk with Yahweh, with the, we need wisdom. Um, with our daily walk with Yahweh, Shah, man, you know, because we gotta know, we gotta have wisdom on what to, how to pray. Uh, we gotta have wisdom on. Um, we gotta have wisdom on uh, when we when we read the scriptures, you know. So it's good to have wisdom, man. It's good to have wisdom, and if you don't have it, ask for it. Okay, ask for it. Okay, it's it's not gonna hurt to ask for it. Now I will say this, just like my homeboy told me, well my Akian brother, just like my Akian brother told me, he said, um, you know, when you ask for wisdom, you know, be prepared because the Most High could take you through uh, several experiences. Okay, and that's how you gain wisdom through experiences. Through when you go through certain things that no no other uh, person has really dealt with but you know you have kind of experience with it that's that's getting some wisdom you know and you know it, it's you know 
it's kind of hard because, well, I wouldn't say it's hard, but um, be careful what you ask for. That's what I want to tell you. If you want wisdom, hey, by all means, get it. I want wisdom, but it, I know that uh, experience is the best teacher, and that's how you gain wisdom. Some, some, well, some wisdom, you know. So, you know, it's okay to ask for wisdom. It's okay, it's okay to ask for it. But if you do ask for it, expect, um, you know, disrespect some things to happen in your life, man. Because that's how you become wise. When stuff happens to you, when you go through certain situations, you become wiser. Okay? Anyway, uh, this is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson. Till next time, shalom.